For number 13, we are given the function f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 1. And then we are going to figure out an expression for f of a plus 1. This is about function composition, meaning that we are going to plug in the a plus 1 into all the x that we have from the original function. And let me just change all the x into red first. And then let me just put down the f of a plus 1 right here. And then what we want to do is refer to the original function where you see the x, we're just going to change them into a plus 1. And then we'll use parentheses accordingly. So originally we had the x squared, now it becomes a plus 1 and then square. Open the parentheses and then put in a plus 1 and then raise that to the second power. That's the first part. And then we will have the plus 3, the x, then you open the parentheses and put in the a plus 1. At the end, we have the minus 1. This right here is the setup. And now this is what we have to do. We are going to work out this power, a plus 1 to the second power. And to do that, let me just put this down on the side. a plus 1 to the second power. This means we have to write this down twice. a plus 1 times a plus 1. And then we have to multiply this out. So we take the a times a, we get a squared, and take the a times 1. We have plus a, take this 1 times a, we have another plus a, and then 1 times 1 we have plus 1. At the end, the plus a plus a, we can combine terms. So we have a squared plus 2a plus 1. So that's the result for the first part right here. a squared plus 2a plus 1. And then for the second part, we take the 3 and distribute it into the parentheses. So we have plus 3 times a, that's 3a, and 3 times 1, that's plus 3. And then we of course have the minus 1 right here. Now we will have to combine like terms. The a square is just a square because there's no other a squares, right? So I'll write down the a square, but then for the a parts, we have the plus 2a and plus 3a. So together we have plus 5a. And then for the numbers, here we have plus 1 and then plus 3. So 1 plus 3, that's 4. And then minus 1. So altogether, that's 3. 1 plus 3 is 4, and then minus 1 is 3. So final answer is a squared plus 5a plus 3. And this is answer choice E on the answer choices. That's it.